Hawks represent all my island people say We people celebrating only from my homeland Like my old man say There's nothing impossible So we have to bring this message to my brother Lyrical straight from the crew Out to the blue We represent the voices of my ancestors calling And I was getting more than my culture is falling Now we have a step up for the past when it's calling What's that? Nobody gonna stop us People, everybody, would you listen to us for a start? No boy complaining and that's we're partaking We're representing Previously on Delos Our engine breaks down and we tow Delos to safety with our dinghy Maggie We end up at a really sweet beach and have it all to ourselves And we actually see another boat and do more amazing diving Leaving Raja Amput was bittersweet for us. We had looked forward to it for so long. Just planning and dreaming about the amazing dives and places to explore. But it had been nearly two months. And with our V6 tension running out, we had to set sail for Ternate to check out of Indonesia. I can't even tell you how excited we were to have enough wind to sail. It was pure awesomeness to see Delos finally be able to stretch her legs. With our engine still acting up, we were tacking along the windward side of the island to clear some outlying reefs before heading west towards Ternate. Dallas tacks a bit like a big old bus. Not so good for racing around pylons, but exactly the stability you want for sailing on the ocean. Yasha! What? I'm hungry! Can we make some tofu? I don't want fucking tofu! <laughs> the tofu is easy, mate! I don't have anything else! What? Air, fluffy, flavorless, fucking mush, air. <laughs> make me a spag bowl or some migorang. Well, what do you want? Tofu or porridge? <laughs> <laughs> Those are the worst two decisions I've ever had to make for food in my life. I hate porridge. You hate porridge? I hate all the orphans. I don't know, man. I'm just really hungry. I just want a cheeseburger. I want a fucking thin crust oven baked pizza. Fire fucking pizza. I want salmon and cream cheese. I want a public sub. A pub sub with a big I want a Cuban sandwich. Oh, yeah. Black beans and rice. Bro, what are you craving? I can go for a seaweedish hot dog with ketchup on it. Uh, Some real nice bread wrap falafel yogurt sauce uh, salad. Yogurt? Food. Oh, like a euro. 
Yeah. Or like, it's not that exciting. We don't have any food. <laughs> so we got the rice cooking in the kitchen tonight. <laughs> it had been just over three weeks since our last provisioning run in Sarong. And we were pretty much out of fresh food. It's amazing how much five people can eat when you're constantly swimming, diving, and sailing. So with another week until our next provisioning run, it was time to break out the canned stuff. See what canned shit we've got to shove it in. The rest of us were just getting into the rhythm of the passage and used to the motion of Delos that would be with us for the next few days. But then suddenly... some squalls now just got like maybe 15 knots of breeze and uh, some lightning wind shifts from different directions but now we're headed a lot more north than we want to but Hopefully, when we get past these squalls, it'll come back to uh, southwesterly and we'll get back on course, but uh, pretty nice morning anyway. Good morning. The breeze is being very inconsistent. In the past two hours, I've seen it come from the north, the south, the east, and the west. Doesn't really know what it's up to, but there's only like five knots of breeze, so we're not really moving at all. We're going about two, three knots, but we're moving very, very slow. And the engine's broken, so we can't motor sail or cheat. <laughs> you so, could get out and swim. Tie a rope to my belly and just go out. So we are being very patient in this gloomy weather. It's raining. But it's still really hot. A little squall came close enough to fill our sails and it wasn't long before a jumping school of bait fish broke the monotony. We always try to drive straight through these, hoping something will snag our trolling lines in the feeding frenzy below. I want to see what's chasing them. Yeah. It's like something big. Whatever it is, it's probably right under the boat. And sure enough, we got a bite. The key to the hand line is once you start pulling, never ever stop. Just get that fish to the surface and planing then it doesn't stand a chance. This little mahi was way too small to keep, so we gave him another chance to grow. Brady had much better luck though. We've tried lots of methods of killing fish, 
but we found that just sledding the gills kills a fish quickly and easily. Then we drag them behind the boat by the tail, which sucks all the blood out through their gills, leaving the meat clean and delicious. Barracuda, that's gnarly teeth, man. That's why all of our lures get trashed for these guys. Day three. Slow sail. There's been hardly any any breeze. We're moving at like two knots, three knots, and the engine's broken. So it's been slow, but good. It was an hour six. In the morning. Six thirty. Time for my watch. You know what? What are you laughing at? Zoom in on our position. What do you think that means? Patience. <laughs> you know what salat means? Fucking bay of. So it's straight. So as patience far as I can tell, this is the straight of patience. Mm. <laughs> it's been the word of the passage. How fitting is that? It's very fitting. Yasha's next order of business was to walk the boat, just looking for anything out of place with the sails, rigging, or the gear on deck. How's everything look? Good. Jib's not doing much though. It's not much wind, but at least we're kind of moving. Whoa, what is that? Holy shit, look at these blue. Look at this. Can you see those? What the f is that? There was like clouds of them. I wonder if they're jellyfish. Fuzzy. I'm not really sure what they are, but we want to go catch one and find out. Maybe it's like jellyfish or something. We found one. Well, we caught one. Oh, there it is. Do you see it? Yeah, it's flashing, huh? Yeah. Yeah, let's scoop it into a cup. Yeah. Whoa. So weird. And you can see it like flashing blue. It looked like a little, there it is. What the f is that? Weird, man. It's definitely not plastic. It's a living organism. It's cool. Our best guess was either a tiny jellyfish or maybe some sort of blue bioluminescent plankton. But without internet, our search pretty much ended there. Join his friends down there, look at them all. Since we were going less than one knot, we decided to break out my absolute favorite sail, our mizzen ballooner. It's basically an asymmetrical spinnaker we can fly off the mizzen, which is really, really sweet. Cool it's probably my favorite sail on the entire boat. Progress, mate. Look at that. We put up the whomper. The whomper. And we're, we're going like half a knot before, not even like. Now we're three. going seven times faster. That's amazing. Even though we are now blazing along at over three knots, some of us were getting a little bored. So we decided to watch a classic cheesy sailing flick. You've been dreaming about doing this since you were a little kid. Oh my god. <gasps> Fucking baby! Go for it right now! Wow. Wow. Yeah. Are you ready? Our sailing wasn't nearly as intense, but at least we were moving. The girls were taking advantage of the calm conditions 
and zoning out to yet another movie when they are interrupted by some very welcome visitors. Holy shit, there's hundreds of them. Oh, whoa. Careful, there's a lot of force on it, so don't let go. We decided to try something new. GoPro is strapped to a broken fishing pole. Necessity is definitely the mother of invention out here. After three days, we'd only covered 150 nautical miles, which means our average speed was a pitiful two knots. Oh well, we were relaxing and making the best of it anyway. We had about 50 more miles to cross the equator and bring Delos back to the Northern Hemisphere. Next on Delos, the crew finally makes it across the equator, and the girls go through an age-old ceremony to earn their status as shellbacks. Really bad in there. Anywhere in the bowl? Uh, no, in this cup. 